Next lesson, number three, is the accounting equation and financial statements. So first is what is the accounting equation? What is the form? How does it tie into revenue and expenses? What are those statements? And how do these all tie together? So we'll cover these questions in this lesson number three. First is the accounting equation. The equation is below, assets equal liabilities and shareholders equity. That's it. That's the balance sheet accounting equation. The words that we would put is what assets we have were paid for by borrowing from others and from shareholders investments. So that's how we translate those words into a sentence that relates to something hopefully more intuitive. The company has assets. They don't get those out of thin air. They borrowed money to help pay for those assets. They also got money from shareholders and earned some profits to sustain the business. And all that has to balance in the balance sheet. Some examples of accounts in assets, you see things like cash or inventory or buildings and equipment. In liabilities, we things, see things like accounts payable, the amounts you owe to the vendors that have sold products to you. We have taxes payable to the IRS. We have loans payable to the bank. In shareholders equity, we have common stock that you sold to investors when you first sold stock in your company. And over time, you have retained earnings, which is profit you've made minus the dividends you paid out to your shareholders. And that's it. That's the accounting equation and examples of some of the accounts inside those. So the answer to the first question is the accounting equation is assets equals liabilities and equity. Next question, wait, what happened to income and expenses? Well, let's do that next. So we have the accounting equation on top and then let's break out shareholders equity. There's one side, which is contributed capital. These are stock that you sold to investors. And then the other side is we have retained earnings, which are profits we made over the years minus the dividend we paid. Aha, that's the connection. So the income statement links to the balance sheet through retained earnings. So now we don't answer. We can extend the formula for the balance sheet to include the income statement items. Assets equals liabilities plus capital contributed plus the revenue expenses over all these years minus the dividends paid over all these years. So that's, that's the extension. All right, good. What about the four statements? The four basic statements are one that talks about the financial position of the company, which is the balance sheet. And it says, how much do you have in assets, liabilities, equity? What we just talked about, that's the balance sheet. Second, do you make money? Do you earn profits? That one is the income statement, which shows the revenue and expenses. And it's one of the key measures of financial performance. Next, sources and uses of cash. All right, this says, how did we earn our cash? How do we generate cash? Was it from operating the business, from investing in activities, or from financing activities? So here we will break out the cash flow. And this is not accrual basis now, this is cash. Cash used or generated by these three activities. Next, we have owner's investment and the retained profits. That's a statement of shareholders' equity, and that's stock issued and outstanding, and profits that are retained in the business. So those are the four financial statements. That's it, there are four. Nice. So the accounting equation, now we know. The extension, we also know. The four statements that we've identified. How do these connect? So they connect because the balance sheet on the one side, then the next year, we have income statement, cash flow, and at the end, we have a balance sheet on the other side. So year one, we finish with a certain balance sheet. When year two starts, we clean the slate for what's occurring in between. We have new, re reset the revenue expenses, we reset the cash flow, we reset the changes in shareholders' equity. And then all the changes then get added to the beginning, and we now have the balance sheet for the end of the year. So that is what we call articulation of the balance sheet and how it's connected with the income statement and the other statements. So we can think of financial statements like bridges. They're linked from one year to the other, and the, the pillars are the balance sheet, and the other statements are the roadways that connect them for the year ended. So we have a balance sheet connected by the other statements. So now we've answered all the questions of the basic form, the articulation, the four basic ones, and how they're connected from year to year to year.